What are three industries most likely to be disturbed by artificial intelligence? Number one is healthcare. Um, I think in the disruption will be good because I think it will make doctors more efficient. But I would really love to see ChatGPT or an equivalent party. Um, and there's already been a couple of cases where someone has been able to get diagnosed faster. They they weren't able to figure out a cure or a treatment plan over a year. And within two months of using the platform, they've been able to do so. Uh, number two, of course, is education. I know there's been a lot of articles and talks about how students are going to use AI um, in a bad way, but I don't think we've talked about how lesson planning will be easier for teachers. Um, oh, yo, <laughs> I'm I'm so far with you. I I, I was I'm like I, I know what you was going to say education, but like that to me, even yes. it's, it's, I think New York State grading been, alone. New York State has banned Chat GPT. Right. Right. Or New York City. I know it's either New York City or New York State because of the implications it can have. Like if if kids have to take home and write, actually create stories and create documents, like yeah. how do you you can't stop it, right? Even from yeah. a teaching standpoint, right? Like you said, the lesson planning, can't. but even from uh, standardized testing, right? Mm -hmm. Like which they continuously become is a huge business that nobody ever talks about. But like even from that standpoint, like they mm -hmm. can create this in a matter of an, an hour and cut ties with McCall Grill and all these other companies that create these tests and make billions of dollars off of standardized tests, which actually really equate to nothing in the end. Like you, you disrupt that industry. That's a hell of a from, business model. You just state brought up to state to state and Kaplan that, and all that. It, come on. Yeah. That's huge. Um, and, and the third one of course would be social media. Um, they're trying to bang when I went on Bing and went on like the, the, the test, uh, run that I was able to access. It's not bad. It's a little bit buggy, but I'm looking at it from like, imagine if it was $50 a month, a hundred a month, and I can hop in Bing and say, Hey, reply to every comment, every DM on all social media platforms. Whew, how much time would that save? Um, so I see that there's going to be a disruption that is going to happen. Some are going to be beneficial. Some are going to be like for all the coders out there, I would say, learn how to program and use the tools of chat GPT to help you put out more product. That's why I would say when everyone's like the answer to economic disparity is coding. I'm like, by the time we find out about an industry, it's way too late. Coding was the wave like in the early 2000s, late 1990s. You have to learn how to program some of these algorithms and make them work for you. I would get on my homework assignment for everyone is whatever your job function is, get on chat GPT or a competitor and see what you can do to actually like replace yourself and be a, like a conductor of using AI to make you way more productive. I think, I think those are definitely industries for sure. A few industries that I think uh, financial services, I think will be extremely impacted by artificial intelligence. Absolutely. We've, we've been talking about they're predicting the stock market, but even bigger than that, I feel like um, we talked about the insurance industry. Um, I, I don't think any part of financial services will not be impacted by artificial intelligence. Financial services is going to be a big, big, big Especially artificial intelligence. Like, yeah. um, travel, of course, you can't forget travel from mm. self-driving cars to, I mean, they probably gonna have a self-driving plane soon uh, or, 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 or with uh, AI just driving a plane and there's no more room for, um, pilots, because you know, pilots they gotta have certain hours where they can they can only work a certain amount of hours, and then yeah. they gotta sleep, and then they got it. So it's like, imagine if you could just have a plane that runs twenty four hours a day. How much more efficient would travel be mm -hmm. if planes didn't have to sit down and didn't have to switch travel crews, and you didn't have to switch pilots, and if you just had the plane takes off in Seattle, lands in New York, then goes to Puerto Rico, then goes to Mexico, then and it just keeps running on its own without having to deal with the human element of it that's something i think the travel travel aspect on every on every way possible travel is definitely going to be affected and you talked about social media but just i feel like any form of content creation whether it's for writing books whether mm -hmm. it's making movies scripts yep. whether mm -hmm. it's um you know uh, musical production uh any form of content creation Customer service for sure. Artificial intelligence is going to, to play a major part in that situation, in my opinion. My graduates from my school being Forbes, backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>